my advice to you is never argue with a 90 degree angle because it's always right. <laughs> now you'll get that joke once we get through this lesson here on geometry angles. Welcome to Purely Persistent, I'm Michelle. Now you've heard someone saying that they did a 360, right? They turned all the way around, but probably something much cooler than like just turning around like I did, right? So when someone does a 360, that means they were going in one direction, they spun all the way around and were going still in the same direction. That is a 360. And that is something that is so important to know when we're talking about angles. Now, let's say I pull a 180. What does that mean? So a 180, essentially, is I just went halfway, right? 180. So let's say I'm driving along this way, and then I turn, and now I'm going along this way, right? That's 180. So now, if someone tells you, take a right turn, or maybe a, a sharp right, you're driving along and you turn just a quarter of the way, what do you do? 90 degrees. So this is going to be so critical for you to know when we are talking about angles. So a right angle is exactly 90 degrees. And oftentimes you'll see a little tiny square in your right angle. And that's just to signify that this is exactly a right angle. So remember the joke at the beginning? Now it makes sense, right? So your 90 degree angle is always right. Ha 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 ha. <laughs> Our second type of angle is any angle that is less than 90 degrees. So look at this, we've got the little 90 degree angle and this one is less. So it could be as big as 89 degrees or as little as like one degree. And what is it called? It's called acute. So I want you to think about it like this. So when things are small, so think about like babies or bunnies or kittens, right? They're so cute. And so sometimes when we say cute, we're like, oh, it's so cute. So I want you to do that. I want you to say, oh, it's a cute little angle. And that is a mnemonic device that's going to help you remember that acute means little and adorable and just so cute. Now, what is the opposite of little and cute? Big, right? And so if little and cute talks like this, how does big talk? Get those muscles out and it's obtuse, okay? So any angle that is bigger than 90 degrees and less than 180 is going to be obtuse. So we say it like this, obtuse. So we have acute and obtuse. <laughs> okay, so let's play the game. Name that angle. You have three options. Is it right, acute, or obtuse? Let's play. First angle. Oh. Is it right, acute, or obtuse? You're right. It's right. Next angle. It is obtuse because it is greater than 90 degrees. Good job. What have we got? Yes, it is another right angle. Your right angles can be going whatever direction you want, right? Next. Yes, it is a cute. Oh, it's such a cute little angle. Isn't it so cute? <laughs> Last question. Obtuse, you're right. Thank you so much for playing the game. Name that angle. Now let's do a little practice together. Have you ever seen problems like this where it's basically just has two lines intersecting and you need to know what the angles are? Well, good news, you actually only need to know one of the angles. But before we get into that, notice here how we have A. 
which A is clearly an obtuse angle. And if you look directly across from A, we have D. And A and D are going to have the exact same angle because in this case, they're both obtuse. And the same goes with C and B. They are both going to be acute angles. They're both a little bit smaller. And if we were to add A, B, C, and D all together, what would we get? Remember, 360. So let's just make up some numbers for these. Let's say B is 50 degrees. All I need to know is what B equals, and then I can figure out everything else. Now I mentioned before that right across from B is C, and they're going to be the exact angles. So C is also 50 degrees. Now A and D, hmm, well I know that this line over here represents the A plus B equals 180, right? And C and D also equals 180. So what I can do is I can just go 180 minus 50, and what do I get? 130. So D and A both equal 130. So 130, 130. All right. Let's do this one here. We've got A and D are both acute. B and C are both obtuse. Now here, D equals 30 degrees. So if D equals 30 degrees, A also equals 30 degrees, right? And A plus B is 180. So what is 180 minus 30? That's right, 150 degrees, which makes C also 150 degrees. So I hope after this video, you feel a little bit more comfortable with angles are right, obtuse, and acute. Thank you for watching, and if anyone hasn't told you today, you are important and you are enough, so go be purely persistent. Peace.